Ladies and gentlemen, I got a 2012 Freightliner Cascadia here and the cup holder slash cigarette lighter assembly here. Now, most of you guys trucking probably will work around and see that that does come out of there, but you don't know how to get it. You, it it's, it's a trip, man. You got to this cover that goes down here. You got to remove that cover. It's like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, screws securing that. And you want to take those out with the T20 hex head deal. Or I got one of these multi uh, joints right here that I use. Because all the bits on this truck are these uh, star bits, the, the uh, type of deals right here. So they're all going to be that six corner star bit thing. But I can just explain it to you. Um, once you pull that cover off, you got to get down in, in the bottom down here. And if you look up, at the center of the bottom of each one of these cup holders is one of these screws right here and over in the corner over here by the cigarette lighter you're gonna have a one screw at the top and one on the, on the side two screws actually holding that thing securely in the corner there so I, I removed those two screws and I figured out I'd just go ahead and rig up rig the lighter so that's what I'm doing now preparing to do let's pull it out you see I, I shorted it out uh, trying to disconnect it but I don't know when you buy these new I think this black sleeve comes like in a separate piece that you put in here first this uh, black trim around the uh, top of the cigarette lighter I believe that comes uh, separately so you can press it down there and kind of pop it in place and then you slide the lighter down into it and I guess it's going to click in, click into a place when it gets where it needs to be. So um, what I did, I saw it because my issue was when this thing was in here, I was placing my little FM frequency uh, thing in so I can connect my Bluetooth to my phone and pushed it right through right through the housing the, the top part like broke off it's like a plastic o-ring around the top that secures that it broke off and the whole thing fell down inside and I was like what the hell so anyway um, I um, unplugged this and saw seeing I uh, was trying to see could I push it through the top and it's got two little clips on it I think when it's actually working right the, the two clips will be right up under this trim holding this thing but I just decided to push that sucker down in there flush and I'm gonna run some crazy glue around here to keep it secure so when I pull this piece out it stays this stays in and uh, I'm gonna replace the fuse that's you have to remove the glove box over there and you'll, you'll show the fuse panel and everything and I'll replace the fuse uh, since I don't really use this one I'm gonna just take the fuse out of there that's powering that and make it power this one and that's how you rig it man and even the, the little o-ring at the top with the uh, plug out that plug on it I'm just stick that sucker right back on there stick it right back on there like so so even on a dummy mission it will act like it actually works so but it's, it's going to be raised up a little bit if you can see it's going to be up a little bit but I'm going to push it as secure as I can in there and run some crazy glue around that sucker to hold it in place and we're going to call that a day. Uh, they are only about 15 bucks at Freightliner if you go to just buy one to replace it 
But hell, I didn't want to spend no money. I, just, I done sunk enough money in this truck already. So, I mean, something like that that can, can be rigged up to work again, I'd rig it. I wouldn't, you know, waste time going to buy a new one. I will probably eventually uh, if I'm in the neighborhood of the place because I got to go up there. I actually need a piece of flex pipe so um, uh, for my smokestack. So I'll go in there. I'll probably buy it while I'm up there or whatever so I can uh, put it back together the way it's supposed to be. But uh, yeah, could find no instructions anywhere online on how to remove this thing. So I just started tearing stuff apart, man, to see if I could figure out how it went. And pretty simple. It's like, like I say, four screws under the bottom that's holding this in it, holding this securely in place. And just remove the bottom panel down there, and uh, you'll be able to pretty much get that get to whatever you're trying to get to. To remove it, replace it, whatever you want to do.